Hey, listen, one of the inventors of uh, Origin Oil's breakthrough uh, technology, uh, electro water separation. In fact, go to originoil.com. If you haven't been there, I want you to spend some time going there. Uh, or Riggs Eckleberry is here. He is, uh, he is the CEO uh, and one of the founders of Origin Oil. Very, uh, very impressive company we started following and we're going to continue following um, uh, for the next year because it is a great story. And again, it was only five months ago that, uh, that they showcased their clean frack system in Colorado, and we were there to shoot that. And, uh, and now, at the end of, uh, you know, at the, at the beginning of this, or the, I guess the middle of the fourth quarter here, uh -huh. they, uh, they, uh, they slam dunk their first seven figure sale. Riggs Eckleberry, it's good to have you, pal. This is a good time for Origin Oil, isn't it? It is a great time for Origin Oil. And uh, we are um, not only selling, but uh, we're also being media darlings. Yeah, I, now this this is big news. Now I, I want to get I want to get to the Gulf Energy uh, deal, and I want to get to the to the sale. But something very large happened yesterday to you guys. You know, I know that you're on a national television show almost every week with us, but uh, this is small potatoes compared to what happened uh, yesterday. Yeah, because as Riggs said to me this morning, the Brainiac showed up uh, to the studio with uh, to their to their offices uh, with cameras. What happened, Riggs? Talk to us about that. Well, yeah, a small network with about 250 million households worldwide. Uh, decided to show up and spend a few hours. It was actually last week. Uh, and it was amazing because uh, Al Jazeera America, you'll see photos in a few moments, Al Jazeera America really does in-depth reporting. They have a tech no program. There's the beautiful Crystal, who is actually a Caltech PhD. So watch out, guys. Yeah, yeah Russ start. is watching her, all right. Smarty pants. <laughs> oh. And there we are cl being clappered away. Uh, they spent hours there, and they covered the process both in the small system and also the big one that you see behind us. Yeah, so the, uh, and that's, and of course, uh, th this is, this gives you some inter international coverage here. Uh, and, and I think one of the reasons is, is because of the, uh, uh, the Gulf Energy deal. Let's talk about that. Yes, well, the uh, Gulf Energy deal is about one and a half million dollars. And it's really great that Al Jazeera is going to be covering this because, of course, uh, it's going to you know, really help our our business development in the region, the Middle East region. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a, a big machine, bigger than the one you see there uh, in those pictures, mm -hmm. that will do 5,000 barrels per day. Um, and they are excited as can be. It's just amazing. You know, Riggs, it, it really, by the way, uh, Riggs Eckleberry is the CEO of Origin Oil. Double O-I-L is the stock symbol. Uh, OriginOil.com is their website. You know, we did talk about the fact that, you know, it, only five months ago you showcased that, uh, that clean frack system. And... Uh, um, uh, now you've got uh, one of your first one of your first sales. You know, we we I, th I think it's important to maybe um, uncover how that whole thing came about. Uh, what was the inception of fruition on that? How long did that take to get done? What was the sales cycle on that? What was the it, what was you know, the educational cycle on that for them? It's pretty much how you expect. Uh, it took uh, Bill about nine months to bring it through. First started showing up. Uh, he showed up at a major oil conference. Uh, in uh, the Middle East in January and followed up from there. And he's just, uh, you know, it's interesting because we're seeing a lot of uh, uptake in both uh, the Middle East and in East Asia. Um, so, you know, I didn't even mention the fact that uh, Nicholas and Jean-Louis just came back from a major trip to China and Japan. We'll be reporting on that next week. But, more, uh, you know, e e even more importantly, the U.S. is actually starting to catch up. Uh, and uh, in California, we just had, you know, Proposition 1 for uh, the, the water bill passed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is huge for us. It's, really? you know. How does that oh, affect absolutely. you guys? You build well, and, 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 let's, and, and by the way, let, let's, let's talk about that because I, because I think that's, I think it's important. If you, if you think about, uh, if you think about the, uh, the propositions yesterday, and, and yeah. I th of course there was, there was Proposition 1 yesterday here in the state of California. And uh, and it talked about uh, it talked about uh, uh, well it was strongly backed by Governor Jerry Brown but it authorizes the state to borrow um, uh, seven and a half billion dollars to make some comprehensive improvements in the water storage and water supply it, it represents California's very first uh, major investment in water uh, uh, and the infrastructure uh, so so that that passed yesterday uh, resoundingly what does that mean to you guys Rex? Well, there's two big pieces, and obviously we're not going to be building dams, but there's two big pieces of it that are critical. Well, I'll tell you what, hold on a second then. If there's two big pieces, then let's wait for the break and tell them after the break. See how we did that? See how I did that? See, that's called hedging. I like that shot better than his office. 
you know, strange people walking behind him all the time. With the office. towel. So oh, you mean good. with the original blue yeah, technology? Looking behind? Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, looking yeah, good. You know what? We should, uh, uh, as this company grows, now you find out about, you know, they're, they're, they're working on how the technology happens, but how does the marketing happen? Where Are, are they in magazines now? Do people, you know what I mean? Wow. How do you mean like they run an ad? Well, yeah. Or hey, you got some gooey water? Yeah. Come got on. Some stinky crap out your water? This cool. would be like a, like one of those commercials with a MasterCard thing on there? Yeah. Like a blue screen? What's in your toilet? <laughs> What's in your swimming pool? <laughs> it's in your lake. What's in you? Uh, origin <laughs> Oil. OriginOil.com. A lot of great video there, by the way. Yeah. And uh, a lot of great news there. But we're going to talk about what the uh, what the, uh, the midterm elections mean to a company like Origin Oil. Coming up here in just a second. Rick Zeckelberry, Big Biz Show. Back in a minute. You're born broke and you die broke. They're trying not to take the in-between part too seriously. It's Sully and Russ on the Big Biz Show. BigBizShow.com is our website. There's Rick Zeckelberry on our website with the Big Biz Show clip of the day. What? Clip of the day. His office. Rick Zeckelberry, one of the inventors of the company's breakthrough technology, electro water separation. You can hear all about it right here on our website, or you can go to OriginOil.com. Great business strategy. Uh, we're talking to uh, we're talking to Riggs though about uh, the impact on a uh, on a small cap company uh, with the midterm elections, and there's some very specific uh, criteria that uh, that uh, that I guess is going to help their business model, and that's and that's uh, with respect to the propositions. Proposition one yesterday uh, here in California passed resoundingly. It's uh, uh, it was a statewide proposal. It was called the Water Bond. Mm -hmm. um, uh, first state or uh, major investment in the uh, in our infrastructure for water in decades, and it's taken on a lot of urgency uh, because we are in a drought which started oh, about 50 years ago uh, <laughs> here in San Diego. Um, but uh, but Riggs, that that helps you guys, does it not? It helps us. Well, there's two major pieces. The first piece is the um, uh, of course the dams forget about the dams we're not building dams right. but uh, the state will need a lot more before they're done sure. as the snowpack goes away but uh, there's a, a major piece for water recycling and reusing water and then there's another one for groundwater remediation now our technology makes it possible to to decontaminate vast quantities of water in a way that could not be done before so you know people are no longer have to throw up their hands and go well the aquifers are ruined no, it actually can be fixed uh, at the point of usage, cleaning it up in real time, and that's a huge promise for you know rescuing California's water supply. The um, uh, and, and of course you know when there's mandates and there's and there's yeah. uh, government uh, spending, that's a good thing for for a private enterprise, especially if you can fill the bill. Correct. Well, like they say, big business equals big government. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, what? Wait not, a minute. Hey, and oh, not oh, vice versa, yeah, by yeah. the way. Hey, well, there's so many different ways you guys work, too, between the algae and, and the aquaculture and the gas and oil, you know, getting that out of the water and wastewater. You know, when it comes to water, you got a big umbrella. <laughs> so to speak. Hey, talk, hey, talk to us about, uh, you know, I, I, I just got, uh, I, I, got, I keep getting emails about you guys, and it, it's just, you know, Janet, uh, Janet Brandon just sent me an email, and she's listening to us. Uh, on uh, KVNJ in New York City We're right supposed now. To use she, last name, she huh? talks to says, "Can you can you talk about your business strategy?" Now that's a, that's that's an open ended question, but I th I think I think what I, I'd love you to focus on is the fact that you are uh, that you uh, you take that you're, you're doing a licensing uh, model, correct? That's absolutely right. There's no way that a small company like ours is going to well any company can get a, a new technology out fast if they're the sole provider, and so that's not our intention. Uh, we have a licensing strategy, kind of like Ray Dolby, you know, with Dolby noise reduction. Sure. Similar concept, or like Android, you know, it got out there pretty quickly. Uh, at the same time, short term, in a way, kind of like Google's building you know, Nexus phones, similar kind of analogy, we're making machines to satisfy the immediate demand, provide a model of how it should be done, mm -hmm. and also to jumpstart our licensees before they start manufacturing. The, uh, um, the name of the company, Origin Oil, originoil.com, and of course, stock symbol double O-I-L. The, uh, yeah, the other thing I want to talk about, Riggs, is the fact that you, you have a couple of different verticals. We're concentrating 
uh, specifically on the on, on the most profitable and the and the, the lowest of hanging fruit, and that's the the oil and gas industry. But let's not ignore the you know the al algae and the other the other verticals you guys have. And and I guess the the big question is, are you know are you going to still focus on it all at once, or are we going to? Yeah. Does you one know, suffer? Put, well, yeah. Is one suffering as you're as you are uh, putting your emphasis on oil and gas, or are you, you going to try to do everything at once? Because you you really started with one target point, and this thing has really grown into an impressive, uh, scalable business. Well, that's a very good question, and you know, I came up through the, the software industry, and Microsoft solved that by having individual business units that each was a small company inside Microsoft. We have a similar concept here. Um, you know, Bill Charneski is the president of Origin Oil and Gas. He has a dedicated uh, VP of engineering, Lee Portillo, who's very able. And then we have, um, we're incubating business units in algae and in waste. Now, we've done algae for so long, it's how we started. So why are we still incubating it? And the fact is, the algae industry itself is just coming out of a very small scale. Mm -hmm. And now we're starting to get demands for very large machines. And we predict that it will have its own business unit manager very soon. The, uh, the name of the company, OriginOil.com, Riggs Eckleberry. Riggs, you're coming in studio next week with me, pal. We're going to come in and we're going to talk. We're going to break down sort of a, a review of the business, where you've been the last year, and where you're going. And again, I, I, let's, let's remind folks, it was, wasn't it just five months ago that you did the, that you did the, uh, um, that you did the proof of concept in, in Colorado? May, May 25th, exactly, in uh, Delta, Colorado. And now the big Gen 2, which you saw in the Al Jazeera photos, is going out to Colorado for testing, too. That's big the, Gen uh, 2. Sounds big, like a Disney movie. The, the big Gen 2? <laughs> it, it really he, uh, it, Riggs is writing the music for it right now. Riggs, thank you so much. Riggs Eckleberry, Origin Oil, OriginOil.com. Double OAL is the stock symbol. And, uh, See what can happen when you do throw a toaster into the bathtub? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Or a microwave down a hole. <laughs> that's what and, happens. And figure that out.